Hey guys, it's Elena, and I'm making a video about all, um, all my mascaras, so my mascara collection, which I'll show you. Yeah, I doubt you can see. Yeah. So that's all of my mascaras. Okay, or that I could find anyway. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this is drugstore and non drugstore, so it's like all. This is the L'Oreal Collagen Waterproof in black. If I can open it, okay. Looks like that. As you can see, the br bristles get all clumpy. I already have on mascara, but yeah. Anyway, it it works, but it's very clumpy. And yeah, it's pretty black, and it's but it's very clumpy. But it does make your eyelashes look. Look, you can see. I think you can see my eyelashes actually. Okay, yeah. Next is Lash Stiletto by Maybelline in very black. Okay. You know. It's a thin brush, but it's the long brush. Makes them long. I love this mascara because it actually works. This lighting is terrible. Wow. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then we have Exact Eye Lights for Brown Eyes. Waterproof by CoverGirl. It's kind of curved. If you can see that, it has a short bristles, but it works pretty well. First time I tried it, I didn't like it, and then I tried it again, and it works a lot better. Oh, I can actually see the glitter in this. Yeah, it has glitter in it, so it just a attract light and make your eyes look better or something. I don't know. Next, I I just got this kind. The XXL Pro Extensions Waterproof by Maybelline. And I use this as a primer because that's what it is. Yeah, that's the primer. And then I put on the other side. And it works really well. Like, I love this kind. It makes your eyes look actual like extensions, but I like to put it on the ed on the ends of my eyes so it looks like I have really long on the edges out here. And then I put like a little bit in here so it just looks like it goes like small and then really big at the end. And I really, really like this. Next I have an old kind of Neutrogena weightless volume. It's different looking now. This brush is kind of big, or just like normal. I wear this whenever I don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup because it doesn't really give you weightless volume. It just looks like regular mascara. Like, it just makes your eyelashes look darker. It doesn't really do anything that much, or I don't think it does. So I like to use this on the, my bottom lashes because I don't want my bottom lashes to be like extreme. I just want them to be like a little bit more seen look nicer. Next I have the Great Lash Mascara in black. Very black. I don't understand how this is Great Lash. The brush is teeny. It's just not very good. I don't know. It works pretty well. It actually does work pretty well. But it's not the greatest 
greatest lash I've ever had, so name doesn't really match product. Next. Yeah, I have a bump it in. Okay. Next I have Mary Kay Waterproof Mascara. This is usually hard to get open, but I don't know. I usually put on one of my other mascaras first, and then I use this as like a make it bolder. Bolder. <laughs> yeah. I keep spacing out, so I'll like hold it there, and then I'll be like, Ugh, and then I'll have it up for like ten minutes. But this works, like I said, it makes your eyelashes look darker, so and thicker. So I put this on after I put on like a separating and lengthening one, which is this one. This this is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. I put this one on first and then I put on the mascara that I showed you before this one. It's a longer brush and it's pretty thick. I love this mascara. I really love it. Except this one, it smells weird. Like my, I have another trial size of it and my other purse. It doesn't smell weird but this one smells bad. Uh, sorry. I just kind of looked like Hitler for a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I really, really like that kind. Next, I have the Glam Eyes Midnight Black Mascara by Rimmel London. I love this kind also. I love, like, all of mine, or else I wouldn't have bought it actually. You can tell this one's curved. Like, just go on. Yeah. I like to use the bent side, though. I don't know why. I just like using the bent side. But I like this. But it's, like, dried up, so it's not really, like, anything in there. I just have it still, for some reason. But yeah, I really like this kind. Next is the Mary Kay Signature Ultimate Mascara in black. It just looks like a normal. It just looks normal. I don't really like it. I think it clumps like spider lashes. And I don't know, I just don't like it, so I don't ever use it. Which is why I have like two of them. This one's like full. And this one's like half, because somebody, my, this is gross, but my sister used it and she gave it to me. Uh, yeah. But I took it, because I don't, didn't care. But I have two of them, and I don't ever use them. I also have two lash stilettos, but this one's like empty, but I haven't thrown it away for some reason. This one's not. And then I have another, I have a la Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara, which is like fat, and then it goes to small. I haven't used this in a while, so I don't really know what it does. Uh, it does. I know it works because I liked it, which because it's like half, it's almost empty. But yeah. And this is like the very first mascara that I have, which I don't, which is probably why I still have it, because it's like my memento when I first started wearing makeup. And it's, it's the Lash Exact by CoverGirl. It did what it was supposed to do. I didn't care because I didn't really know much about makeup when I first had it, so. It did what it was supposed to do, got the job done, and I liked it. So, but this one's in black brown. No, no it's not. This is in brown. I don't even wear brown mascara anymore, so. And it's dried up. I've had it for like, since like 6th grade, 7th grade, so. I'm in 10th grade. So yeah. So that is all my mascara. So. Leave your comments below on any mascaras that you think I should try or to review for you guys. Or, and put in the comments of any of the mascaras that you saw in the video that you would want me to do a review on separately. So, anyway, bye!